Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to deal with deriving demand curve from indifference curve and budget constraint. In IC means indifference curve. Remember, in short we say IC means indifference curve. So in previous videos you studied about uh, demand, meaning of demand and the meaning of demand curve and how to derive uh, demand curve and also you studied about uh, derivation of demand curve in the case of single commodity you all studied these all things and also you studied law of demand what is law of demand when the price increases law of demand means what that law says when price increases demand decreases when price decreases demand increases this is law of demand in previous videos you studied all these things so in this video I am going to deal with deriving demand curve from indifference curve I see means indifference curve and budget constraint and you already studied about budget line and budget constraint you already studied that and budget set you all studied these all things so let us say that let us take an example uh, deriving demand curve from indifference curve and budget curve. This is the uh, concept that we are going to deal with right now. So here I draw two diagrams right here on the board. This is panel A. You can say panel A, panel A, and for this diagram you can say panel B, panel A and panel B. Two diagrams I drawn here. So this is origin and this is x axis and this is y axis. So what I am going to tell you right now about this topic. So how to derive demand curve from using indifference curve. These are the indifference curve IC1 this is IC1 this is IC2 this is IC3 IC means indifference curve these are the three indifference curves and A B A C A B these are the budget lines okay these are the three budget lines so from which we can able to understand by using indifference curve and budget lines so we are going to derive demand curve so let us start here let us say that consumer consumer consumes only two goods here consumer consumes only two goods banana and mango what i am explaining here by using indifference curve method and budget constraint how to derive demand curve okay that is what i am explaining here so let us say that consumer is consuming only two goods one is banana and another one is mango banana symbolically i would say x1 symbolically i am showing it x1 banana is showing x1 and mango is x2 mango is x2 there are two goods two fruits that consumer is consuming banana and mango banana represents x1 and mango represents x2 and consumer income and price of both commodities are given consumer income income is how much it is m we are explaining in qualitative way, not in quantitative way. We are explaining this in qualitative way. Consumer income is given. How much income is consumer is having? Income is M. And price of banana, price of banana and mango is also given. Price of X1 commodity, that is banana, is P1. Price of banana is P1 and price of mango is P2. Okay, this is what consumer having right here. Consumer consumes only two goods, banana and mango, 
and mango banana represents x1 and mango is shown as x2 then consumer income is also given that is how much income consumer is having income is m and price of banana is p1 and price of mango is p2 so here you can see this point on panel a on panel a consumer is in equilibrium at point c you can see it budget line and indifference curve is tangent here in this point which means consumer is in equilibrium at that point what is consumer equilibrium you can see here point c point c is equilibrium situation point c is equilibrium what is equilibrium what is consumer equilibrium in the previous videos you studied about consumer equilibrium what is consumer equilibrium consumer equilibrium is a situation where consumer spends his entire income on both the goods so this is the budget line ab is the budget line so this much amount of money consumer is having right here ab amount of money that is m consumer is having here so by spending this much amount of money he gets ox1 amount of banana ox1 amount of banana point c is equilibrium where consumer gets consumer gets ox1 amount or quantities of banana and ox2 quantities of mango he gets so why that is equilibrium situation why this point is equilibrium why this c point is equilibrium why it is so which means indifference curve and budget line they are tangent at this point which means there are various bundles are available on indifference curve first and whatever the amount of money that consumer is having he has chosen the bundle which is available on point c and here on this point he is spending his entire income on purchasing both the goods that is mango and banana by spending his entire income he gets ox1 quantities of banana and ox2 quantities of mango so by putting this information in panel b diagram we get a point first point on demand curve so by using this information we are here in panel b we are deriving a demand curve by using this information so at the first first equilibrium situation by the first equilibrium situation we will get the first point on demand curve so here on o y axis we are measuring price of banana what is the price price is the p here and how much quantity is that the consumer is you know consuming that is o x 1 quantities of banana that consumer is consuming at the price of p so the first now we got the first point on demand curve so we can see here then in case the price of banana decreases so they remember listen carefully this is very important assessment here now you come across how consumer consumes both the goods and what is budget line so this is the budget line and what is indifference curve and how consumer gets his situation of equilibrium so you come across all these things now the question is how budget line shift upwards or downwards how budget line set changes or how budget set changes see here what happens if very important what happens if the price of 
banana decreases if the price of banana decreases then what happens very simple to understand if the price you already aware about law of demand if the price of any commodity increases demand for that commodity decreases if the price of any commodity decreases demand for that commodity increases so this is the law of demand here that law will apply the price of banana decreased okay the price of banana decreased which means consumer now consumer will purchase more quantities of banana see here earlier consumer was purchasing four bananas okay earlier consumer was purchasing four bananas at 20 rs 5 each okay now the price of banana decreased what happens earlier consumer was purchasing four bananas by giving 20 rupees each no 5 each 5 rupees each now the price of banana decreases now consumer will purchase more quantities of banana you can add one more banana here which means consumer now will get or will purchase more quantities of banana which means when price of good increases consumer purchasing power will increase so here the price of banana decreases so what leads to the increase in, sorry decrease in the price of banana his purchasing power will increase now his budget line will shift upwards from ab to ac why because his purchasing power has increased now consumer can purchase more quantities of banana because the price of banana decreased so that's why budget line shifted upwards there are two reasons for why budget line shift upwards you can see here so these are the budget budget line so this is budget these are the two budget line so this is first budget line and this is second budget line so this budget line shows more purchasing power which means a and b a and c so a and c budget line is having more purchasing power than a and b budget line okay and what is the reason to shift upward what is the reason for budget line to shift from ab to ac there are two reasons why there are two reasons one is consumers income and second one is price of goods so these are the two reasons which will lead to change in the budget line or shift in the budget line when consumer income increases his budget will increase and budget line will obviously shift upward and you know in case consumer income decreases in case consumer income decreases budget line will shift you no know, up you know lower side means downwards budget line will shift downwards and price of goods this will also cause to change or shift in the budget line when the price of gold increases what happens to the budget line budget line will shift downwards when budget line shift downwards which means the price of that gold increase so here budget line shifted upwards it is because of the price of banana decreased and the budget line shifted upwards now you can see here at new budget line ab you can see here at new budget line ab he is purchasing more quantities of banana compared to you can see here now at budget line ab ab budget line consumer is purchasing more quantities of x1 
x bar is greater than x1 now consumer is purchasing more quantities of banana because the price of banana decreased so this is the new budget line so this is the point d is the equilibrium point and where consumer is purchasing more amount of banana compared to ab budget line or ic1 see here ic1 gives more you know less satisfaction than ic2 and budget line and ic curve are tangent each other at the point d and this point d is equilibrium situation where consumer is spending his entire income on purchasing mango and banana now he is getting or he is purchasing more quantities of banana compared to ic1 and ic1 is situated at lower you can see here ic1 is situated here and ic2 gives more utility to consumer so here he gets so this is the equilibrium situation and budget line shifted because decrease in the price of banana again again what happens see here by this this information i will put in panel b diagram at price p price has decreased at price p dash consumer purchases x bar quantities of banana and we get another point on demand curve then price of banana further decreases see here price of banana further decreases p dash to p double dash okay then what happens consumer he will purchase more quantities of banana than x bar x bar quantities see here the price of banana decreased the budget line shifted upward then so this is the equilibrium situation point e shows equilibrium situation where consumer spends his entire income and he gets higher level of satisfaction so by putting this information we get another point so by joining these points we will get a curve and this curve is called as demand curve now we derived a demand curve by using indifference curve and budget line okay so what we discussed so far so deriving demand curve from indifference curve and budget constraint so this is panel a diagram by using information from this diagram we derived a consumer demand curve so this is what deriving demand curve from indifference curve and budget constraint so if you have any queries regarding this concept just message me in whatsapp thank you